Hey everyone, uh, once again, Nick here. <clears throat> and uh, I just want to show you that I have my basketball, and I have my wiffle ball, and I have my pen tennis ball, and all three have failed to throw off water as uh, promised by me. But uh, FE has been constantly promising me that uh, if I do these things, that uh, water will definitely be flung off into uh, my face and on my phonograph. Especially this pen ball, which they said, hey, you need to <clears throat> saturate this with 70% plus water, just like the earth. And I did. And it didn't throw anything off, going 112,000 times faster than the Earth is spinning. Now the Earth is spinning is at one rotation or one revolution per day, which is 24 hours. Okay, one revolution per 24 hours. Okay, 112,000 times faster than that. Okay, but <clears throat> because I'm just such an awesome guy, I now have my beach ball, which is ha which has a circumference of 43 inches circumference, 13.7 inches diameter, and it has a radius of 6.85 inches. All right, as you can see, it's much bigger than the biggest object so far, okay? Because apparently, uh, flat earthers think that if uh, I increase the size of the object as well, okay, that uh, this will increase the linear momentum, uh, centrifugal forces, because the radius will be longer uh, and the size will be much, obviously, much larger and so what we're going to try to do, and this is not going to be easy, but what we're going to try to do is uh, put as much water on this as possible. Okay, it's not a spongy surface like our tennis ball. So once again, we're going to get drops, but once, you know, it's not going to put 70% water on this ball. It's going to put quite a bit of water on this ball. Okay, and it's all going to stay there. Okay, so we got water on the ball. Good, yeah, water on the ball, boy. Alright, so we got water on the ball. No, I got water on my basketball. This, this, uh, So, all right, so we got water on our ball. You can see the droplets of water, no problemos, okay? Now let's see what happens. Uh, shoot. Let's see what happens when we spin this bad boy. So that's 33 RPMs. Uh, 33 RPMs, and as you can kind of see, if you can, I go like this, you can see that nothing's spinning off my ball. Uh, the water, you can see the water is, is still there. It's funny how you can, you know, huh, interesting. Okay. Let's try 45 RPMs. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but I don't see any. You see the water on the top there? It's all. It hasn't. Uh, it's not just. It's not throwing water off this ball. Let's go to the higher setting, which is 78 RPMs. Hope. All right. Wow. Okay. So, let's go back to our initial 
45 RPMs and our 33 RPMs and we'll shut this thing off. Okay. If you can see there, okay, trying to get a, right. hey look, we got water man. Okay. It's just, uh, can you see it? I mean, I mean, is it just me or is this a bust as well? You know, is it just me or is this just a bust? All the water's still up there. All the water's still down there. And let's take a look at our phonograph. Alright, looks like it's uh, dry. Okay. Yeah, just maybe a drop there, but a drop doesn't equal uh, splattering. Doesn't equal anything. It doesn't mean a gosh darn thing to this ball. All right, well, uh, once again, water on spinning larger ball. Uh, getting sprayed off. This too as well is busted.